Hey, Zach with SmartBug here, and I'm going to talk to you about how you can use Ops Hub Pro to build custom coded workflows in HubSpot that are running all the time in the background, fixing data hygiene issues for you automatically. In this case, we're going to take a look at uh, an issue where either via automation or just incorrect uh, manual changes, there are companies that are getting the wrong lifecycle stage set, uh, and we're going to use a custom-coded workflow to fix that uh, for us automatically in HubSpot. All right, so here's our custom-coded workflow that's going to restore the company lifecycle stage property back to its previous value before it was incorrectly updated by some uh, automation. So our enrollment trigger here is list membership in a list called incorrect lifecycle stage. And in your HubSpot portal, that might look something like uh, a list of companies who are customers, but they've never had a deal associated with them, or they've never had a deal associated with them that is also a closed one deal. Uh, or you might have a list of customers who are opportunities, but you've never uh, had a demo or a call with them or some other step in your process that should have happened before they became an opportunity. Uh, those are a couple of examples to get you thinking about, you know, how could I build a list to accomplish something similar in my HubSpot portal? So let's take a look at our custom code block here. And we've got a couple of API calls that we're making here. We are reaching out to HubSpot and asking HubSpot to uh, give us any historical values for the lifecycle stage property uh, on the contacts who get enrolled, or sorry, on the companies that get enrolled in this workflow. Uh, and then we are storing those historical values, the most recent historical value, uh, in an array, and then we're writing it back um, to HubSpot in the lifecycle stage property via an API call. So let's take a look at some of these companies and see what the impact of our workflow was. Uh, so we'll take a look at Stark Industries here. They were originally a lead, but then they were inadvertently updated to an opportunity. But now we can see here that our workflow updated them back to a lead. If we take a look at Vandalay Industries, same story. They started out as a lead. They were incorrectly marked as a marketing qualified lead. Uh, but our workflow came in, saved the day, reverted them back to a lead automatically for us. So as you can see, uh, the workflow did its job. It's reverting these records back uh, to their prior lifecycle stages uh, that they should have been at. And you know, the great thing about Ops Hub is you know, this is not a one-time fix for this issue. This is something that's going to run in the background all the time for us. We have a list now collecting anyone who has an incorrect lifecycle stage. You know, this is a data hygiene issue that we know is happening in our portal. Well, now we have an automatic solution running in the background through the power of Opsub, fixing that for us all the time.